Hi, I'm Kirsten Holmes, and here's what's happening. Stockton police are investigating after this attack that happened in the city's Western Ranch area late Sunday night. Detectives say a man and a woman were attacked by a group of people on Henry Long Drive. Both were kicked and punched. The woman had to go to the hospital. She was later released. The, ve the victim's vehicle was also vandalized. Now, right now, police are only saying there are four to five suspects, both male and female. And more than 20 break-ins at a light station this morning. We're hearing from security about what happened. The break-ins happened on Tuesday afternoon around noon. It was at the Franklin Light Rail station in South Sac. Police arrested five minors. Regional Transit has 24-7 security operation with at least 1,000 cameras between buses and trains at all times. RT is stepping up its security. And today there's going to be another PG&E wildfire safety meeting, this time in Placerville. You can learn a lot more about their plan to cut your power, all to prevent wildfires this season. Now everyone hopes it doesn't happen, but if it does, you'll need to be prepared. That meeting starts tonight at 6 o'clock at the Best Western on Greenleaf, Greenleaf Drive. All right, it's going to be hot and it's going to be a little humid. I just did your weather for you. Do you even need to hear from Rob? <laughs> We're going to do it anyway. Can you do it for me today? Because no one wants to hear from this guy. <laughs> hey, check this out. Today and tomorrow, we still have time before it really hits us in the face. This is going to be a big time major heat wave for Saturday and for Sunday. Hottest temps of the year, a little bit humid and approaching the level where it could affect your health in a bad way. So I'll get to that in a second. What we have today though is through the morning, 70s, 80s, 90s, and I think that that's where most of us end up somewhere in the upper 90s. Maybe you hit 100 degrees, but that's okay because knowing where we're going, this is actually a good day. Now the humidity is still lingering around, so that's still a factor for a lot of us. If you're sensitive to that sort of thing, I think you'll notice it today. Even if you're not, <clears throat> you still have to look at the possibility of more mountain showers and thunderstorms. Just so you know, in Southern California, they've been getting ripped with thunderstorms, flash flooding and burn areas, a whole bunch of activity for us. We're just a little bit too far north for that, but we still could see something in the mountains either this afternoon or tomorrow afternoon or both afternoons. Now let's get to the heat today, about 100 for the hottest spots, but most of us will just be a touch under that. Same thing for Friday, but watch what happens through the weekend. 100 plus for all Valley locations, the very hottest spots well north of Sacramento might even hit 110 before it's done. And you really don't see that much relief overnight. You're going to wake up in the 70s and maybe even 80s in some locations. So that's Saturday afternoon as well as on Sunday. The good news is that we start to back away from this going into next week. And I see some low 90s, but we got to get through a very hot weekend ahead.